How is the sound today? Is it better? The sound is better. Okay. I was so excited to get started yesterday that uh, I was sitting listening to the uh, to the clinic that we just had in the classroom and he so graciously thanked everyone for letting him be here. And when I got on the court yesterday, I totally forgot to do that. But this is the first time that I've come to give a clinic for FIBA. So I do want to thank FIBA for inviting me, the Portuguese Federation, uh, for having us all here. This is a really great opportunity to get coaches together, and I'm just really happy that I can be a part of it. Um, yesterday, I worked on the offensive side of the ball, uh, and today I'm going to go to the defensive side of the ball. Um, I like to play really good defense in my teams so that we can play offense, actually. Um, for, for me, the, the defensive side of the ball is what I focus on more than anything in my practices, actually. I work on a lot of skills offensively, and I work a ton on defensive skills and def team defense. Um, I'm going to kind of go through, or at least the things that I think are most important in building up or the most important aspects of defense. Um, and for me, number one is communication. Um, that's top on the list is teaching your players how to communicate in the right way with each other. Um, second for me is footwork. And we all as coaches focus on footwork when we're talking about defense. Um, but I think just as important with footwork is handwork. Um, so learning how to get my hands and my feet working together and in a way that makes it the most difficult for the offense to be able to do what they want to do. Um, number three is moving with the ball, okay? Reacting to where the ball is, making small adjustments to get myself in position or keep myself in position uh, to be able to either defend one-on-one -on -one or help my teammate out somewhere. So whether it's in a full rotation or whether it's uh, showing a little bit in a gap, yeah, really working and reacting to, to the ball. Um, Number four for me is anticipation, and that comes a little bit with moving with the ball. Anticipating what we think the next thing that the offensive team is going to do. Um, I think we all have seen players that just anticipate extremely well, and they're the ones that end up getting deflections, um, steals, that we're able to then start our fast break because one of our players in our team is a great anticipator. Um, Number five that I am going to talk about is um, rotations and scrambling, okay? Just really learning how to, uh, of course, the basic rotations, but also we all know as coaches, we teach our basic help the helper principles, and we, I don't know if everybody does, but I teach the X out, close out. Um, but it doesn't always go how we plan, yeah? A lot of times it actually goes opposite of how we wanted it to or opposite of how we worked on. So teaching teams and teaching players to react to the situation and be able to scramble to take away opportunities, okay? And then to end my defensive uh, possession, obviously, to end a defensive possession, you have to be able to box out and rebound. Um, so that's how I'm going to build up uh, the clinic today. Um, we have a ton of volunteers. I'm not going to try to learn all their names because um, I know I don't have a chance. Um, but I'll use some of the boys, I'll use some of the girls. We'll do some drills with just four people. And then obviously at the end, we'll get into some five on five situations as well. For me, the goal in defense is to allow one contested shot per possession. Um, so that means not only that somebody doesn't score on us, but they're also not getting any open shots. That everything that they take is with a hand in their face, that they have to um, doubt a little bit, oh, should I take this shot or not? Okay, no easy looks, no easy layups, one contested shot per possession, which means that then you have to be a really good team with boxing out and rebounding so you can start your break and be able to go into transition on the other side. Um, communication is what I started with. Okay, I was, uh, I have done some stuff with the Point Guard College uh, in America listened to a lot of their stuff, done some online stuff uh, with them. And they use the principle as night communication, N-I-T-E, is the way that they talk about communication. And um, 
So a lot of times as coaches, we tell our players, communicate, communicate, communicate. And the players say, what do they say? What do we have to say? What am I supposed to say? Yeah, and so getting a little bit more specific with your players and teaching them how to communicate and not only to open their mouths and talk, but actually what to say. So uh, the point guard college in the States, they say night and the N is using somebody's name so that you get their attention. Okay, so that's really important. If I want to bring something over to somebody, it's good if I can get their attention. Um, the I is for information, telling the person that you're talking to the information that they need to have. Okay, the third one is the T, and this is a hard one for me as a coach, and it was always hard for me as a player, tone of voice. Um, because, of course, during the course of the game, coaches, players, emotions are high. Yeah, people get pissed if somebody makes a mistake. There's, the emotions are super high, but it also, um, if I say screen, or if I say screen, there's a big difference. Screen is a warning. And if I say screen, yeah, the person that I'm talking to is not catching it as a warning, okay? Most of the time, they don't even hear, okay? And the third one, and this doesn't always happen within the course of the game, but this happens more in uh, dead ball situations or in communicating with your players, is the eye contact. Um, obviously, if five players are standing around here playing team defense, they can't all look at each other. I get that 100%. But... Um, teaching your players that when they come into a huddle uh, and they want to discuss something at a free throw situation, to really be involved with what the other person is saying. Yeah, that they're all connected, that they're even I, I teach uh, communication is also non contact, uh, uh, sorry, uh, non verbal. So, really making contact with each other, yeah, putting a hand on each other's backs, lots of high fives. These are also ways of communication. Um, so the, the, this is really, really important in how I build up, and this is the baseline for my defensive principles is the communication. Um, the next thing that I go to then is footwork and handwork. Yeah, and we just saw uh, on the screen, we talked about the zigzags. Yeah, we talked about the zigzags. I'm gonna show a sort of zigzag drill, um, but I hate the zigzag drill because I am not a fan of drop steps. Yeah, I. Really, a few years ago, yeah, I still did it also. We all did it as players. Yeah, we do the drop step drill. And I really hate the drop step because a lot of time on the drop step is where players get beat. Um, so I really try to teach that my players' hips stay square, hips and shoulders stay square to the offensive player. And if your hips and shoulders aren't square to the offensive player anymore, you should be in a sprint because you need to come back under and get your hips and shoulders squared back up with your offensive player. Um, so we're going to start with this one. I'm going to do a really simple drill. Everybody's done it. I start with handwork. And I have um, six people. Six people. Doesn't matter. Boys, girls, mix. Girls, don't be so scared. One, two, three, four, five. And we need two basketballs. Okay, everybody knows, I'm sure, monkey in the middle. Yes? Monkey in the middle drill, defensive drill. You've done it a hundred times. I only do it for my handwork. So give me two people over here. I'm sorry, give me one person here, one person over there, one person in the middle. One, 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 one. Okay? You're facing each other. Yes? Come to the elbow. Yep. Okay. The only thing that the, these guys are in offense, okay, and these two are in offense, okay? You have the ball. The only thing you're going to do, the only thing they're going to do is move the ball, okay? You're going to go around, okay? You're going to look for your pass high. You're going to look for your pass low. You're moving. Your job as defense, move the ball, is to keep one hand on the ball at all times. So if she comes over here, I'm putting this hand on the ball. If she comes here, this hand's on the ball. So that every time we're doing this, if somebody's looking to pass, I can look to get a deflection. The only other thing, you're also moving your feet to keep your nose also on the basketball. So if she moves the ball this way, slowly, my nose and one hand is on the in line with the basketball. Move it. Yeah, I'm here. I jump. 
Okay? One, your nose, one hand on the ball. Three, four seconds, throw it to the other side. You go play defense. You go there. Okay? You stay there. Got me? Okay. Let's try it. Let's see how they do it. Hand and nose. Hand and nose. Yeah, then you stay. Okay, stop. Good. Okay, what do you guys see? What do you guys see that you could say, this could be done better as defense? What can defense do better? What was the first thing we talked about? Communication. Okay, I got ball. Yeah? And I don't need that person to say, ball, 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 ball. I got ball. That's it. I got ball. Okay? So you're going to talk. Yes? The defense. The defense is going to say, I got ball. Yeah, I got you. Okay? That's one. Two. If the ball goes up in the air, I saw a couple people go with both hands up and stand straight up, okay? This makes it really difficult if they bring the ball back down and go in and they're good at cutting their defender off like, or their offensive player off like defensive off like we talked about yesterday. Yeah, they're beat. They're gonna slice right by and you're too high to come back down. So one hand and I stay low with it, okay? You try it one more time, talk, and if the ball goes above her head, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. I don't have to stand up and do this. Okay, stay down. Okay, go. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Let's go. Nice. Okay, good. Better. Stop. Okay. Okay. I don't stay on this very long. For me, this is a 30-second uh, drill, maybe a minute. Okay, and I immediately go on to, okay, now they've defended on the ball, they've mirrored, and now I go, you're going to defend one dribble. Okay, oh, you're going to, sorry if you hear me breathing. Yes, I get out of shape quickly. Um, you're going to um, now defend one dribble. So you start on the ball, ball, yeah, go, bop, huh? and now you can make one dribble, right or left, doesn't matter. Okay, make a dribble. Bump. And I want to slide, stay square to my offensive player, keep my nose on the ball. Okay, what I also want to do now, if she dribbles to the right, my left hand is in the passing lane because she's dribbling that way. So I want to try to get a deflection with this hand. If she makes a change of direction, this hand is here. So dribble to the right, change of direction. I have this hand here to take away any crossovers especially obviously if they go behind the back or between the legs they protect a little more but what we don't want okay and what you see a lot of players do when they have this hand here and somebody crosses over yeah so the most important thing is here is staying on balance all the time i'm on balance my weight is distributed on both feet if I, she's going this way and she makes a change of direction i try to get it if she changes direction i switch my hands Okay, and all the time, this hand is defending change of directions, and this hand is defending the pass lane. It's much harder to make a pass that way than it is to make a pass straight in the direction that you're going. Okay? Um, go ahead and try that. One dribble, and then you switch. Yeah, I got a deflection. Good. Yeah, good. good, good job. Okay, you got ball. Yeah, good. Hey, this is good. Yeah, keep going. Way to stay square. Nice. Okay, good. Stop. Okay, next one. Slide this way just a little bit. You guys stay there. Okay, so this is just build up and it's all very quick, short drills. Now, they defend a dribble. One dribble, one hard dribble, and here's a hesitation. And now, after the hesitation, the offense can choose change of direction 
or hesitation, and onside. So offense, one dribble, hesitation, either onside or crossover. Either one is good. Huh? And then you pass it. Okay, so now we're not only uh, defending one dribble and worried about staying square, but now we're yeah, building it up. It may, becomes a little more complex. We're uh, defending the change of direction. Okay, try it. Yeah. Yeah, stay in front. You got to defend the dribble, defend the dribble, and the change of direction. Okay, stop, guys. Okay, stop. Okay, this one's a little bit more complex. You see already? They defend one dribble and they stop. You have to defend two dribbles. Okay, you defend two dribbles, so don't give up. Yeah, get under. Yeah, you're here. If they go onside, slide again. If they change directions, you're going back the other way. Okay, come on, do it again. Show it. Slide, slide, bum, and go. Yeah, yeah, ball. Boom, ah, good, it's okay. Okay, good. Okay, now we're gonna go into, you guys go off, give me six new people. You guys go off, six new. Let's go. No balls, no balls. Okay, right here, you're gonna start. Um, you're gonna use the red line, so the free, uh, sorry, three point line extended. Yeah, and this line, yes, it's very small, right? Okay, what I wanna teach now is not a drop step, so I'm not going here, yeah, touching and drop stepping, but I'm still working on keeping my shoulders square the whole time. So as I'm sliding here, I'm here, my shoulders are square, my shoulders are square. Okay, the only thing you're gonna do is slide to mid court. You're not allowed to do this, no, okay? Your shoulders stay square to the baseline the entire time. So I'm here. Okay, let's go. Short, short. Nope, just real court. Court, short, 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 short. Yeah, and go, and go. Don't drop step. Don't drop step. Let's go. Don't drop step. That's better now. That was better. Okay, you already see with a drill like this, and this is what I don't like about the drill, okay? When I come here and I plant, what I wanna do is hop into position. And you see with a lot of them, it's still, this foot goes backwards, they cross and they come into their next slide. They're beat already. As soon as this foot, as soon as my left foot goes behind here, I make myself skinny and I open the path to the basket. It's not what we want. I want to stay, I want to stay wide. Yeah, so I'm here. Bump. I can still push off. I can still move. Okay, so you're gonna do it one more time. None of this, okay? Okay, I stay here. Do it one more time, let's go. Bump. Better. Better. Much better. Good job. Yeah? Already. Good. Good job. Okay. Um, okay. Now we're going to get into what we talked about this morning as well. Now we make the space a little bit wider. We work from the lane line, yeah, lane line, side line, okay? And now it's two slides, two slides, turn, sprint, under, square back up. My feet to the baseline again, two slides, sprint, come under, yeah, always come under and get square. You do it two times, here and here, and then you're done. That's good. Okay, let's go. Try it. Turn, under, 
Square. Feel, dear. This is the out of bounds. This is out of bounds. Get square, get square. Okay. I think you guys see also the angle that they take to sprint to get ahead, the angle is too short. So actually, they slide and they run in a straight line right there to get to a stopping point. Yeah, here, turn, go, sprint, under, that's the sideline, bomb, cut it off. Okay, so it's only two times. It's here, it's there, two times. Okay, try one more time. Under, under, <laughs> more under. Slide, slide, sprint that way, sprint that way. Better, sprint that way, and under, hey, this is better. This is better, sprint, better. Okay, the only other thing that you see sometimes is they don't get squared back up. So they should be here, and this hip should swing around to cut the sideline off, and they come here, and they go into their next slide, okay? They've never done the drill before, maybe, uh, like this. Okay, so we're not going to keep doing it. Okay, we need two balls. Okay, three of you. Come here. Three, here. No, it's okay, just three. Nope, he stays with the girls. Okay, he stays with the girls. That's okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, you guys have... From the black line to midcourt, this is your area, okay? Where's your ball? You need a ball. Sorry, that's what you meant, maybe. Nice. And I need one of you to the other side, please. Okay, you guys are here. And you guys are green line, this green line, to the baseline. One ball here. Can you please go to the other side? Thank you. You're on defense. Your job, you have to get there in six seconds, okay? You have to stop her from getting there in six seconds. She can't get there. If she wins, you have to do two push-ups. If she wins, you have to do two push-ups, okay? And if your push-ups aren't good, I will make fun of you, yeah? So they have to be good push-ups. You understand? You're on defense. Six seconds. You only have to play defense for six seconds. That's nothing. Right? Okay? So think about what we just worked on. Use your hands. If it's deflected, pick it up. Keep going. Okay? Pick it up. Keep going. Yes. You. Okay? Ready? Go. Two. Ah, three. Four. Five. Six. Good. Defense one. Okay, defense one, do push-ups if you lost. Oh. Okay, let's try it again. Go. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Five, six, and... Okay. Uh, you won. You have to do two push-ups. Okay. With my team, I, I changed it a little bit. I usually do eight seconds, okay? But I thought maybe six was enough for this group. But you also want that the offense wins sometimes, okay? We're going to do it one more time. I want you to beat him, okay? Do you feel sorry for him that he has to defend you? No. Go, okay? Come on. I want you to win. Get there. The harder that you can get offense to go in this drill, the harder it is on defense. If offense goes uh, half speed... Defense has an easy job. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six. Defense winner. I didn't see that one. Who won over there? Okay, good. Just a really simple drill. Just a really, really simple drill to make it a little bit competitive. I make everybody go through three or four times, and then I move on to the next drill. Um, now we're going to move on to, you guys can sit for a second. I'm going to talk. Okay, you don't have to stand here while I'm talking. So these are all drills that I do just to work on handwork and footwork. That's it. 
Yeah, handwork and footwork. Okay, it's the very, for me, it's the very, 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 very basics of teaching players how to play one on one defense. For some players, they pick this up, but they, they don't even have to pick up what I say because they have a natural defensive instinct. I'm sure you guys have all had players, and for some reason, some of them get it and they can keep their man in front of them all the time. And for other players, they struggle big time defensively, especially in a one on one situation. Okay? So now we're going to go to moving with the ball. Okay, that's also really important. Moving with the ball, and I connect that a little bit with anticipation. Okay, so those two things for me are really connected. I start really easy just to get the energy level really high. Okay, so um, give me six more. Okay. Okay, that's also good. Five's good. Make a line right here. Make a line in the middle. Okay, good. Can you spread out this way a little bit? You come to the three-point line. Yep, good. You go all the way back to under the basket. You can come up, spread out. Okay, spread out. Yeah, listen to coach. I have no idea what she's saying, but listen to coach. Okay. Um, can I get one of you coaches to help me, and can you grab one ball, please? Yes. For me, the best way to think about moving with the ball, I know most of the time I always started with move to the ball. First thing we do is your on ball pass goes, we jump to the ball. I do that also. I'm going to do that later, actually. Okay, but the first thing I want to do is they are, <clears throat> they are my defender. Okay, they're defending me. You guys are all playing defense on me, but you stay in your line. Don't all attack me. Okay, you stay there. Coach is going to throw a skip pass to me. While the ball is in the air, you're going to run. You're going to run about to here. You're going to run to the three-point line. You're going to run to here. You run to here. You run to here. You run to there. Like you're playing out of a skip pass where you're at. Okay? And all you're going to do is pass goes. Now, let's, we're going to watch them one time first. Okay? We'll see what they do. I'm not going to explain it yet. So coach is going to pass me the ball, and you're going to close out to the other side in a line. Don't run into each other, please. Okay, in a line. Ready? Okay, get down. You're ready. You're in help side. You guys are all help side defenders. Do you see coach? Do you see coach? Do you see me? Do you see me? Do you see me too? Okay, good. Okay, coach is going to throw a skip pass when he wants. Boom. Okay, not bad, not bad. I was expecting that some of them would go in a slide, actually. And what we really want to emphasize is that you sprint to play defense. That's good, okay? Play defense here on this side. Play defense. I'm going to, no, like this. Like you're defending the basket. So change your angle. Change your angle. Yeah, change your angle, change your angle. Good, everybody's defending, good. I'm going to throw the skip past the coach, and you're going to sprint back to help side, okay? And we're going to keep going until so you're, so you're tired, okay? Five minutes or something, is that okay? Okay, ball goes in, skip. No, you know, so I love the enthusiasm, guys. Good, but you're guarding me. So now you're in help side. You're in help side. Ah, come back. Okay, it was good. I, I didn't explain it well. If they all do it wrong, then I made a mistake. Yeah, so you're guarding me, so you run. Ball side, help side. Ball side, help side. Okay? Ready? Get down. Come on. Be ready to move. Let's go. Ball. Come on. Get here. Move while the ball's in the air. Turn. Okay? Yeah, let's go. What's the most important thing? What was number one? Communication. What can you guys say now? Can you guys talk? Or are you scared? There's a lot of people here watching you. Are you guys scared? No. Okay, sprint back. Help side, I got your help. Yeah, I got your help. Sprint back. Close out, I got ball. Okay, you ready? I better hear you. Go. Did you hear all of them? Hey, yeah, go. Come on, turn. Oh, oh. 
Okay, good. This is where I start, just to get energy up. Yeah, I do it a few times. I move immediately on to my next drill. Something that's really important is working on them turning their hips and getting their hips squared back up. Okay, so here I'm in an angle. Yeah, I'm defending the ball. I've got to turn, I've got to sprint, and I've got to get back so I can see everything. Same thing when the ball goes back this way. Yeah, I've got to turn my hips and I've got to get here so I can make myself quicker. Yeah, if I stay, start in a slide or slide the whole time, I'm not quick enough, then it's, I'm too slow, okay? After that, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna set up the same drill we did yesterday actually, but now with a defensive focus. So yesterday we did it on closing out one-on-one, -on -one, reading one-on-one, -on -one, okay? After this one, then I go um, out of closeout. So I need three people over there, three people over here. I have the ball, please. Can I have one ball, please? Thank you. Can you guys make a line for me? You guys make a line? Yeah, thank you. Can you guys make a line? Who, who likes to play defense out of you guys? Who likes to play defense? You like to play defense? You can be on defense first. Good job. Okay. Now we really make this. Yesterday I mixed it up. Sometimes I made it a closeout situation for the offense. And sometimes I made it that they had to uh, work to get open. Now, because I want to focus on closeouts, I'm working only on closeouts. So you become defense. Okay? You go play defense there. I throw her the ball. You play one-on-one. -on -one, okay? You play one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, already now we can start to talk about, and this is a personal preference, what you really want to do in your defense. So for me, I want to take away the middle. I, I force things baseline. Okay, some teams, some coaches, yeah, they decide to funnel everything through the middle. I want to keep things on one side of the court as much as possible. So already now I say my nose is on the ball. My nose is on the ball. And I'm between the ball and the basket. Yes. And she cannot go this way. Only to the corner. That's where she's allowed to go. Okay? Not this way. Mm -mm. Then you have to do push-ups. Okay? You play one-on-one. -on -one. Okay? Go. Slow motion. Slow motion. Yeah. Go. Make a layup. <laughs> okay? Shoot it. Okay. Nice shot. You become defense on the other side. You get the rebound. You throw it immediately to her. You're, you shot, you're running. This is a closeout now. Yeah, you get the ball, you can go immediately if you want. Okay, and now I've got to break down. I've got to be ready to slide. I've got to be ready to play defense. And it continues. After your offense, your defense. Okay, defense always gives the outlet. So after you play defense, you throw the ball to your teammate. Okay? Okay, we start how we were. Okay, let's go. You ready? Go, 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 go. Yeah, bum. Side, side, side. Yeah. Nice. Pass, pass, pass. Okay. That's a long closeout. Let's go. Keep her in front. Keep her in front. Okay, out of bounds. Your defense here. Go, go, go. Oh. Okay, go, defense, throw it. Yeah, come on. Snell, here, go, go. Get there, get there. Hey, okay, stop, stop. Okay, this was really good. Okay, she started to dribble to the middle. She had this hand up to defend the passing lane. She had this hand down. Crossover, deflection, turnover. Okay, exactly what we talked about in the beginning. Okay? Um, okay, but what, again, girls, what was the number one thing I talked about? Communication. Did anybody say anything while they were playing defense? Huh? Nobody. So I'm going to let you go for 30 seconds only. And you guys are going to make the energy in the gym is going to be up here. Okay? The energy in the gym is up here now. Okay? You can start in defense again. Ready? We change. I'm going that way now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, don't let it. Go. Go. 
Closer. Rebound, rebound, rebound. Rebound, go, play defense. I got you, go, 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 play defense. Ooh, nice shot. Go, go. Hey. Oh, nice move. Okay, good. Much better, guys. Much better. Yeah, second time was much, much. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. That was much better than the first time. Yes? Okay. Um, one second. I don't know where I'm at. Okay, and obviously out of this drill, we, I'm going to talk about rebounding in the end. But obviously then, once you've put all this stuff into your practice or you've worked on this enough, all of the things come back in these little one-on-one -on -one drills that you're doing. Okay, right now I'm just focusing on one specific piece out of the what we're doing. Um, when you put it all together in the end, yeah, uh, whether it's one-on-one, two-on-two, -on -two, all of these things come back into play. Bless you, whoever sneezed. Somebody sneezed, right? No? Okay. Um, give me a line here. Line. Two people, two people, two people. Two people, two people, two people. Ball in the middle. Okay, now we're only going to work on, yeah, now we're only going to work on deny position, okay? We're going to work on deny position and jumping to the ball, okay? After this, I build it up, and then we also work on um, playing a little bit of gap defense, and that's something that you can choose as coaches to do. Um, to make the gap smaller between the two offensive players or not, I do it. Um, that's a choice for you. So the ball's in the middle. Ball's in the middle. You're, you're with your nose on the ball, okay? And which way would we, in the middle, which way would we like to send the offense? Left. Yeah, to the left. Because are you right-handed or left-handed? You're left-handed. What are the chances? What are the chances? Okay. But 90% of the time, I would say, ball between the elbows, send left. Okay? Um, so that's okay. You can send her to the left. It's okay. Just so you can think a little bit, all right? Ball's here. We are talking denial on this side to keep pressure on the ball. But I always see her in the ball. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, and I want to be one step up the line. Arm in the passing lane. If she goes in a back door, go. I funnel, funnel, and I bump her. Okay? Okay? You pass the ball. You're in deny. Bump, bump, bump. You can't touch it. You're talking. I got deny. I got you on the right side. Okay? Pass comes. Boom. You're on the ball. You jump to the ball. What are you going to do? You're going to sprint your two steps, okay? You're here, <laughs> right? That's what we just worked on. You think I'm crazy a little, huh? <laughs> okay, ball goes back to the top. Ball goes back to the top. Deny, on ball, deny. Ball goes to the other side. Boom, on ball, deny, sprint to help. This is all we're doing, okay? We do it a few times, and then we switch offense, defense, and see both. Start the ball in the middle. Hey guys, ladies, what's number one? Communication. Help side. I got on the ball. Yeah, I'm in deny. I got you on the right side. Whole time you're talking. I want to hear big energy, okay? Go. Okay? Okay, stop. Stop. Not bad. Switch offense, defense. Damn it, uh, ladies, ladies. If, when you go to help side, okay. So if the ball is there, and you go to help side, yes. Sprint. Don't slide. No slides. Sprint. You want to get there as quick as possible. When the ball goes back, sprint. To here, okay. the The idea of this, guys, is. Okay, hardest time to play basketball, 
for me, for almost everybody. Hardest time to play uh, defense, closeouts, right? Closeouts, defending a closeout is the hardest thing there is to do in basketball. The shorter that we can make our closeouts, the more success we can have on defending our closeouts. The longer we keep our closeouts, that's the advantage for the offense. We want to keep the advantage on the defense side so we make our closeout shorter by moving quicker. Yeah, and obviously it all comes back to how they can move and they have to be able to stop and they, they need to get to that high speed and know how to, to put the brake on and all of that. But the idea is it's a sprint. You close the distance, you make your closeout shorter. Yeah, so that we can play good defense. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's go a couple times. I'm back. Yes. Oh. Okay, stop. 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 Offense made it really, really difficult on the defense because it was like a hot potato. Okay, normally I would tell my team, hold the ball for two seconds so we can really work on and get in our position. Okay, but I didn't tell them that, so that's my fault again. Um, good job, guys. Uh, next one. Okay, we stay in the same setup. We add one aspect to it. Okay, and that's what I just said. Now we add gap defense. Okay, some coaches decide not to play this. Okay, I'm talking here now about what I think and also what you see at the high levels. And of course, as you get to higher levels, it always depends on who you're guarding. Are they a shooter? Um, and and I, I always teach a gap defense is a very short stunt to give your teammate a chance to recover and get back under the ball. It's the only thing the gap is for. I'm not committing because if I commit, it's a kick pass out on the ball side to a wide open shot. We don't want that. We don't want rotations. Okay, but I do want to work on, yeah, making things a little more difficult. So you're in deny. You're in deny. Okay? All you're going to do, okay, you're here. You're on the ball. Yeah, you're in deny. You're going to take one dribble into this gap. The only thing that you are going to do, actually, you're going to take two dribbles. Okay? Go back a little bit more. Can I take your spot for a second? So I'm in deny. I'm off my defender. She starts to drive, and I go back. I show, bump, and I recover back. Most important thing here is how I recover. I dig, boom, and as I come here, my hand goes high, so if she tries to pass this here, boom, I can get the ball on the pass, okay, or at least have a deflection to slow it down, or I can go to the other end in a layup, okay? You don't have to pass it. All I want you to do is... Come back, you come back, okay? You're on the ball, you're in deny. One or two dribbles, show and back. Okay, I come back, show, oh, see, this is a commit. Not all the way, just one step and back. Okay, one step and back. Listen, you can't always do this. I know that also. If the spacing is really, really good from the offensive players, it makes it harder to play gap defense. So if I'm all the way in the corner, here, and my defender's here, and she drives, if my defender goes into the gap, fine, I'm going to come here, I'm 100% sure I have a shot, okay? So you stay in the middle, you two stay on the sides. Yeah. Come up a little bit, yeah, yeah, and back, yeah, gap and back, and back, not bad. Okay, stop. What's number one? You did a good job. Did you hear any of your teammates? So you didn't know that your teammates had your back. If I'm playing this gap here, yeah? I got you right. I got you right. I got your gap. I'm back. I'm back. Come. Yeah? Okay. Do it one more time. Ten seconds. Let's go. Okay, good, stop. Obviously right now, the girl that's playing defense in the middle is not getting beat, she's staying pretty square. So if your offensive teammate is, uh, if your defensive teammate is not beat, you're not gonna go into the gap, okay? This is really for if you got beat by a dribble, yeah, and your defender, uh, your teammate needs to recover, okay? Okay, 
You guys off? Six new. Can I have six? Great. Um, one drill I like to do, and I do it, I only do this when I have more coaches and more baskets because it takes a little bit to get through. Okay, so if I have a coach that can help, or even if I have good players, so listen, some players understand things quicker than other players, yeah? And I think in a lot of club situations, at least, yeah, I, co I did coach at a club before, and I used my players that understood things more and better, I used them to help me out, yeah? They can also give feedback to their teammates, and some players take that better than other players if they get uh, feedback from their teammates. Yeah, but if you don't have any other choice, you have to teach players what they're looking for in their teammates. So if I'm going to do this drill, I like to do it if I only have two or three people on a basket, to be honest. So I do it sometimes in my individual workouts if I, my focus in individuals is on defense. Okay, and this is just six-point defense. Okay, you guys have probably all done it before. And the six points that I do is on ball, jump to the ball, deny and defend the drive, which is all what we just did. Okay. I bump the cutter, I make a closeout, and I play one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so um, I need one person with the ball and a defender. I need one person here on offense, no defense. So actually, I only need three people. I only need three people. Thank you. No, I need you two. I need you two. I need a defender. I need defense. Okay. So now we have on ball, your on ball defense, boom. Okay, which way are we gonna send him? To the, are you right handed? You wanna send him the other way. So nose on the ball, keep your foot up, we stay square, boom. But I take away the right side a little bit, okay? So he's big, he's on the ball, you're gonna make a pass, boom. You jump to the ball, no, uh, 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 jump to the ball. Boom, I'm here, I'm in a deny. Yes, you're there, good. Drive, one or two dribbles, show, boom, yeah, and back, kick it back, boom. Okay, give it back to him. You don't, you're not going to kick it back, you keep it, okay? So you show, boom, you come back, okay? After that, make a basket cut. Cut to the basket, go. Now you bump. He has to cut behind you, okay? He can't go there. No. You don't want him to cut in front of your face. No, 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 no. Behind, okay? If you cut in front of his face, you can go to that side. If he makes you go behind him, you have to go there. Go there. You're in help side. Throw a skip pass. Sprint. Close out. Play one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, then it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's live. Yes? Okay, try it. So, you're, yeah, one or two, two dribbles, don't pass it, keep it, my fault, that was my fault. Two dribbles, back it back out, keep it, he tries to basket cut, you're just looking, and then one on one, yeah, thanks, okay, huh, then you, yeah, then we'll rotate, yeah, let's go, bum, jump to the ball, okay, stop, 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 what's number one, what's number one, what's number one? Help him out, ladies. Communication. Okay, you got to talk. Even though you're by yourself. Okay, let's go. It's a habit. We're creating habits. And back, deny. Oh, stop. This is not allowed. No, 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 no. As a coach, this makes me insane. Yeah, but really insane. Face cuts. I always tell my girls, like... That player that you just let walk in front of your face just disrespected you because you should have busted her right there and she should have been going the other way. And we let them go exactly where they want to go if we let them cut across our face. Okay, I get crazy from this. Yeah, my girls are so sick of hearing, take the face cuts away. Take the face cuts away. Yeah, okay. No face cuts. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait, 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 okay, on ball, on ball, boom, okay, come on, give the ball back, 
give the ball back, pass, jump, then I. Okay? Drive, one step, boom, and back. Go, cut, take this away, bump, take this away. Wait, wait, hold it, help side, help side, help side, help side, gap. Okay, now we play, come on. Show me how to do it, let's go. Now you're on your own. Yeah, and back. Yes! Oh, play. Good. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Next three, let's try it one more time. Good job. Good job. Hey, hold the ball longer. So wait till he's out there to pass it. Okay? So wait. I tell you when. Okay? Hold. And stop. Are you awake? Are you awake? Are you sure? Okay? Hey, what's number one? Communication. Okay, come on. React. I have to do this with my players sometimes too. Yes, and back. Cut. Good. Wait. Nice. Okay. You can also, you can also work on help side on this as well. If you want to put an extra step, if they're in help side, can you come in help side, please? You give the ball back to him. Go to the corner. You can. I, sometimes I work on charges, depending what I want to work on. I have this guy on the help side, and I have him. Attack the basket like crazy. Attack. Boom. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Nay, no. <laughs> he was supposed to hit you. So you come here. Boom. Fall down. Charge. And now we... <laughs> And now we work on a charge situation, okay? That's something else that you can add to it. And you can even drive, attack. I go back, you go back, go back, go back, skip, close out. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you can add to it. There's a lot of things you can add to it depend on, depending on what you want to work on, okay? Oh. Okay, can I have eight people? I need eight people. Yeah, can I have eight in total? Can I have four black and four orange? Doesn't matter, boys, girls, perfect. I don't care. Black and orange. Is it okay? 30? Okay. Um, who wants to be in offense? Who wants to be in defense? Ah, black in defense. I love it. Okay, orange is in offense. Four out. In the slot here. Okay, we're going to play in the slot, in the other slot. Okay, and then a corner or not all the way in the corner, but you're going to be lifted a little bit from the corner. You're going to have an offense here and an offense on the other side. Um, can I, guys, why are we mixed with orange and black? So black is in defense, orange, you're in offense. Okay, but somebody has to change. I need four orange and I need four black. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, good. Orange in the corner. Orange here. Okay, we're, we're playing man-to-man -man defense, so you need to find your... Man or woman. Perfect. Okay, ball starts by me. Okay, now we're putting everything together. Okay, everybody knows four on four shell. Okay, um, and right now, I, w I always start for a couple times. Totally no dribbles. Okay, no dribbles, no movement, just getting people talking. You have to talk. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, you have to talk. Yeah, getting people talking, getting people moving, getting people in the right positions. Okay, so if the ball's in the middle, you're going to be there. Deny, deny. You guys are off the line, up the line a little bit, up here. Yeah. Because if I drive, who's going to help? Mm -mm. Okay, help. Go ahead. Three-pointer. Swish. Okay, this is ball side. You've got to rotate to your help, okay? But we'll get to that maybe later. Okay? 
I'm going to throw the ball to somebody. I can also throw it there. Boom. Then I jump to the ball if the ball goes there. Help side. Okay. What I really want here, okay, or what I think is really important, is that these two people, no, it's okay, that these two people are not in the same line. So this, she has to be help side. She's the helper. You're going to be two steps off because if she starts to drive, I've got to be ready to drop to here to play for two and get to a shooter. If I'm also all the way help side and she drives, there's no way I can get to that shooter in the corner. Okay, so never like this. You're there, you're there. Okay, like this. Okay, ball. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? Are you going to start talking or what do you want me to do first? You're going to start talking, right? Okay, go. And then I'll start. Oh, what? What? I don't hear you talking. Are you going to talk? I got you down. I got you low. Whatever. Talk. Okay? You ready? Yeah, go. No. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay? I said it. They didn't understand it. We stay stationary first, and then we go live. Okay? Offense, for now, one time, don't move. You only pass, pass, pass. Defense, talk, move. You have to stay there. No penetration. Don't move. Don't dribble. Yep. No. No one dribbles. No one. Okay? If you dribble, what do you think you have to do? Push-ups. Okay? Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Help side. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Good job. If the ball is there, you have to be basket, basket line all the way. Stop. You have to be there. Okay? No, ball's there. When the ball's there. Ball's there. Okay? You've got to be here. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. And now... You have to move while the ball is in the air, okay? And not when your player catches the ball. We make our closeout short, yeah, because next we're going to go live. And when we go live, if you don't move while the ball's in the air, you're going to get beat on the first closeout, and it's a very, very short drill then, okay? Ball. Hey. Let's go. Keep going. Yes. Hey, better. Hey, okay, stop. Stop. Nice job. What do you guys think? Should we let Orange see if they can do it better? Orange, go to defense. Okay. Hey, black, really good the second time. Now you guys have to do it better than black. Okay, you guys have to do it better. Okay, ready? Thank you. Thank you. Good. Let's go. Good. And I. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, I I let the coaches vote. Okay. Who thinks that Orange did it better? Who thinks that Orange did it better? No? Nobody? Who thinks that Black did it better? Okay, why? Okay. Black was better because they were talking like crazy. There was energy. Sorry. Sometimes if you just speak nonsense, it gives energy to your team. 
And it makes, sorry, if your mouth moves, your feet move. Okay, if your mouth moves, your feet moves. You're going to play better defense if you talk. Okay, if you talk. Okay, now, now it's live. Okay, when I do this live, I always put emphasis on the defense. So all my points, when I keep score, the points go for defense. If defense gets a stop, they stay on defense. Okay, but there's two different ways for me that defense can get a stop. Either they get a steal or a turnover, they get two points. If they get a defensive rebound, they get one point. Okay, we want to try to take, take shots away or at least contest shots. So two points. Orange, you're on defense first. Two points for a turnover or a steal. Okay, one point for a rebound. If black scores, black goes to defense, nobody gets any points. You only earn points on the defensive side, never on offense. We're focused on the defense now, okay? It's live. You can dribble, you can cut. Only thing, one rule, guys, one rule, no balls, no screens. No, you, no screens. You know what a screen is? Yeah? What's a screen in Portugal? Portuguese. Huh? Blue crew you. Blue crew you. Yeah, good? <laughs> okay. Okay, I start with the ball. I start with the ball. Ready? Let's go. Good. Talk, talk. Yes. Hey. One point. Switch off. Uh, stay on defense. Orange stays on defense. So black, I play it. Yeah, you can also play it that you go uh, one after another that you alternate. If, sometimes that's better to be honest because sometimes you have a really strong defensive team and one team doesn't ever get to play defense, which is usually the team that needs to play defense. Um, okay, I start with the ball. You ready? Wait, 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 wait. Come back, that's okay. No screens, no blocker use, okay? No, it's okay. Okay, black on defense. It should have been the other way, but that's okay. Hey, hey, ball's here. I have the ball. Good. Good. Not in the same line. You one step this way. Perfect. We ready? Let's go. Okay. One other rule that I do, my assistant coach hates it. If they get an offensive rebound, defense, you play it out, but defense doesn't get a stop. You switch automatically. So on an offensive rebound, yeah, actually the possession's over. You can't do anything. Okay, so that's a rule I like to have because it makes us focus on defensive rebounding a little bit more. It also makes offense focus on crashing the board so that they get rebounds. Yeah, so if the offensive rebound happens, for me, it's no points. Okay, I got to get quickly in too because I'm really running out of time. Because as you know, we haven't worked on anything out of rotations yet. And you see it immediately right now. We have a baseline drive. The help side is actually pretty good. And with four people, like this time, this top person cut to the other side. So there was no help the helper. Okay, but I, um, I do want to get into rotations really quick before we are finished. And I actually wanted to do boxing out and rebounding too, but I talk too much. Um, I'm not efficient. I'm not efficient, actually, because I talk too much. <laughs> um, so let's go first with uh, one person here. Offense there in the corner. Offense. So I only need four people. I only need four people. Okay. All we're going to do first, real quick, is work on uh, X out closeouts. Okay. X out closeouts that we have two people on this side. So you're in the help side. Okay, you guys can wait a second. Give the ball to him. Yeah, stop. You just have to wait. Okay, no, 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 no. You just do nothing. <laughs> okay, uh, you're in. You're on defense on her. All you're going to do, okay, and I can make it three on three. Let's make it three on three. Come. You have your toes on the three-point line. You have your toes on the three-point line. Come on, your toes. Yes, good job. You drive. You try to stop him but you're at a disadvantage, yeah? 
If he, in order for him to recover, so this is already something for me. Can I take your spot for a second? Thank you. This is already something that uh, I, I try to teach when they're beat by a little bit is not letting the offense keep their line to the basket. So already now, if he starts to dribble, I, can you come, sorry, can you come back? First thing I teach my players to do here is make contact with their hip. Yeah, I make contact with their hip, start to go, and I try to push him off his line to the basket, so I slow him down. I try to keep it out of a rotation situation if I can. Yeah? If he's so good and he gets into a rotation, okay, and he beats me totally, go. We have here the help side, and we have here the drop. You can choose to score, or you can choose to pass it to one of your two people. If he passes it there, pass it to the corner, please. You're going. You're going back, okay? Now we're working on the X out, close out. And normally I would still work on recovering here. And sometimes you have an entire rotation where you have to switch and I have to rotate through. I have that in a four on four drill as well. Yeah, that I do that. Um, but for right now, we actually play it out two on two. And actually for you, you're only allowed to pass. You can't score. I know you like to score, but you can't score. Okay, you're here. You're here. Okay, so after you drive, it's two against two. Let's go. Okay, stop. Stop. Do it again. You're off. You, you don't play. Come here. You stand by me. You don't play. Ah, you don't play. Okay, try it one more time. Only thing. For, for the sake of the drill, so we see the rotation, you don't play either. So now this guy's only, so now we're just focusing on the rotation. Okay, the two-on-two -two rotation. So you try to get into the paint, you make a pass. Okay, go, 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 rotate. Yes, okay, stop. What's number one? What's number one? Huh? Communication. Did you say anything? Did you say anything? Nobody even knew you were in help side. Yeah, you got to talk. I give you one more chance. Do it again. Do it again. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's all right. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. No fancy stuff. Just pass. We got a baller here. Yeah, go, go, out. Yes. No. Okay. Good. Okay, the focus point is the X out. Okay, the focus point is the X out, and then he should have stepped out, actually, so it stays in a two-on-two -two drill. Um, I do this also in a four-on-four, -four, so give me offense and defense. You come here now. You guys are on the top, offense, defense. You guys are here, offense, defense. You guys are there, offense, defense. Give the ball here, okay, because you can do this now, or you can work on full rotations. So your toes, toes on the line, toes on the line, boom, get closer, okay. The drill starts. If he dribbles, it starts. You got to go. Don't let him beat you. Okay? If he can recover, we don't have to have a rotation. So she's ready. Yeah? She's ready. If he starts to dribble, yeah, come under. I'm here. Yeah, get under. Get under. I can go back. Yeah? If he's beat, commit. Okay? So now do it if you're beat. Okay? So dribble. Oh, you're way too late. Oh, you're too late. Rotate, drop, drop. I go into a full rotation. Okay, I make the two people on the back side play a zone. And the person that's way too late rotates to the closest person. Because on this penetration, what's the hardest pass to make? Stop. Stop is hard. And of course, if you have somebody that wants to take baseline, they can take this. But... This is a hard pass to make. These two, going in this direction, are easier passes. Okay, let's try it. Don't let him beat you. Recover. Okay? Go, 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 go. Oh, turnover. Nice defense. Okay, again. Again. Okay, wait. First thing. You guys don't like to talk, huh? Hey, okay, you got to talk. Oh, you forgot again. You don't have to talk when you practice, huh? You have to talk, okay? Let's go. 
Nice, rotate. Oh, defense ball. Switch offense, defense. Switch offense, defense. We let offense try it, uh, defense. Go to offense. Offense can try once. Get closer, okay? You want to get under, yeah? Cut him off. If he cuts him off, it's four on four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Do it again. Do it again. Keep talking so we know where we're scrambling to. Okay, again. Yeah, come. Okay. This is a great example. I just said, that's what players always do. You say, this is the hardest thing to make, and then that's what they do. Okay, so penetrate. Give the ball here. Okay. You were on defense. You were a little bit behind right here. You were here. You dropped. You dropped. Okay, stop. Ball went to the top. Who should rotate here? You have to rotate there, okay? And now you make it. If they make that pass to the top, he has to rotate. She has to come back up, and he's sprinting through to the other side. So depending where you're, you would go, go. So obviously everything changes depending on where the pass goes on this situation. Okay? Okay. Um, Guys, thank you. I'm finished. Good job. Good job. What one other drill that I like to do, but it's a little bit complicated, so I didn't want to do it with this group. One other drill I like to do is five against four. Yeah, I put five offensive people out against four defenders, and I make them communicate like crazy, and I make them scramble. And the only rule that there is, is the ball has to be defended and one pass away on each side has to be defended. So it really teaches them to rotate, to scramble. When the pass goes, they have to talk about who's going to the pass. That's one of my favorite drills to do in a five on four. Um, do I have time for questions or no? Yes? Does anyone have any questions? No? Perfect. Nobody? No questions? Okay. Thanks, guys.